As entrepreneurs, it's so easy for us to put others first. We wanna prioritize our clients, our team, and our business as a whole. And sometimes that means bettering ourselves gets pushed to the back burner. But your business can't reach its full potential if you're not taking care of yourself. It's as simple as that. So I wanna give you some motivation and advice today on how to invest in yourself as a business owner. But before I do, I wanna make sure that I tell you about my Infinite Video Impact Challenge because it's one of the best ways to invest in yourself and your ability to market your movement. So if you're looking to drive massive impact and profit for your business, check this out after the video. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm putting out videos every single week about how to make money and an impact on YouTube and how to better yourself as an entrepreneur. For me, investing in myself was one of the most important things that I ever did. And it's not just financially, it's mentally, emotionally, physically. It is the most important thing to focus on yourself as the business owner, as the CEO, because if you are the leader of your company and the leader of your movement, but you're not taking care of yourself first, how can people trust you? How can you take care of others? You need to be able to have those outlets and, and the awareness to reduce the stress, increase your productivity, maintain that longevity and perform better. One of my favorite things to think about is that I need to be a leader so that I can create more leaders. And a lot of that means I have to focus on myself first. So who do I need to be to do the things that I need to do to have what I wanna have? This is a concept that um, I've heard of through many people from Tony Robbins to one of my mentors, Jim Fortin, called Be Do Have. That really, it works, it starts with your identity of who you are so that you can have the results. And a lot of people work backwards from have, do, be. Like once I have this, then I'll be happy. But we forget that it starts with who we are. And a lot of times too, as entrepreneurs, as we are serving so many people, we get put on the back burner, but forget that self-care is not selfish. It's how we need to fuel ourselves so that we can give back, whether it's to our employees, to our family, or to our clients. For me, I had to find a good groove, a good routine for what I need to fuel me. So I've actually found that I work really well in the morning and then take a few hours off in the afternoon and then work a little bit more before I end my day. That's what I found was really good for my energy levels and how I could best perform and, and keep productivity without getting to this place where I'm just doing, going through the motions and not actually doing the things that I needed to do. Another thing is I'll take time in the morning so that I have time for reflection, whether that's like writing or journaling or meditation and then also exercise because moving my body every day has been really important for just generating creativity getting outside has been really important for me even and especially where I live uh, in the winter there's a lot of snow the sun sets earlier and it's really important for me to still get that like vitamin D and just fresh air so that's something that I learned was really important for me and I would notice when I wouldn't get that it would really affect my creativity I actually moved my office from the downstairs to the upstairs of my house because I wanted a window so that I could have more natural light. It made a really big impact on me and sometimes it's those small things that make a big difference. Another way you can invest in yourself is by learning. So every single day, I wanna block off at least 20 minutes, and 20 minutes sounds pretty minimal, but if I can read a business book or take a course, watch some important YouTube videos that have content that's trending or something that's relevant to my career, I wanna be able to invest in myself by how much I can grow in my mindset, in my personal and professional development. And so that's something I highly recommend is like, what can you do for yourself that's gonna help you grow. Um, there's a, a quote or phrase about how like if you can improve just one percent every single day imagine you who you'll be at the end of the year. Another thing that I did that was so important was networking and developing good relationships with people in my industry or people who could mentor me. So I joined masterminds one of my some of my favorite mentors have been Russell Brunson, Alex Sharfin and hiring them as my mentors has been absolutely invaluable not only for the knowledge and the expertise and and just all of the love and nurturing that they have poured into me, but also because of the people that I've been able to meet through them. There's the phrase, your network is your net worth. And when you can meet those people that have maybe gone through similar journeys or, or taken a path that you wanna go on and you can learn from them, you can stand on the shoulders of giants to be able to reach that goal. You can follow in their footsteps and maybe even be able to skip the, the lessons along the way because you can learn from their actions. That's gonna help you to really take the fast road to where you wanna be. When I first became an entrepreneur, I thought that the road to success was to hustle, but 
but now I've learned along the way that the best way to get there was by investing in myself and investing in my team. So I've built a team around me so that I can focus on my zone of genius. And that's something that we really, we speak about a lot in our company culture is that everyone has their zone of genius, that I can operate in my strengths, they can operate in theirs, they have their own superpowers. And I, used, I have this joke, I actually talked about it on my podcast, where I used to think that I was this snowflake unicorn, that I was the only person that could do what I do. And I'm so glad that I, uh, Alex Sharfman, one of my mentors said to me, Marley, you're not that special. Um, and it was both offensive and a relief <laughs> to learn that, that I don't have to be the one doing everything. And I actually limit myself by doing that. So when I invested for the first time in hiring a video editor and then hiring an executive assistant and then hiring a marketing person, like that helped me to really become who I wanna be and to learn that I don't have to hustle hard to make a big impact. I can do the things that are within my zone of genius and feel really good about that. That was also another mindset shift for me was because I really enjoyed what I was doing and because I was really good at it, I almost felt guilty like this isn't hard work. The reason why it comes to you so easily and seamless is because that is your expertise. I've also found that taking breaks really boosts my productivity and gives me time to relax and really recharge. I found that when I am too focused on the hustle or the tactical things, it doesn't leave the space for me to just think and create. A really big part of your job as an entrepreneur is to learn and create and think and feel and then just be able to pour that back into your team. I have a whole playlist on my channel about entrepreneurship and motivation, so go check that out. Make sure that you subscribe. If you are on the road to starting your own business that might resonate with you, definitely go check out those videos. Even though entrepreneurship comes with its fair share of stress and overwhelm, you have to take care of yourself first and always be striving for improvement. When you commit to investing in yourself, you commit to your business as well. And if you're looking to invest in massive impact and profit for your business, be sure to check out the link below for the infinite video impact challenge. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below and subscribe for more weekly videos.